Hi everyone, thanks for joining me today. We are gonna be making this unique fold of a card. This is the one we're gonna to make today. Isn't it cute? Hi Stampers, this is Dawn and today we're gonna to make this unique fold of a Easter card. And you can tell that I made a couple other ones because I've been having so much fun with them. But here's the one using the Darling Donkey stamp set. Isn't it cute? And it stands up just like that. It's adorable. And for signing, you're just going to put another panel on the back side, like a piece of basic white, and you can sign on that, all right? And then this one is using the Hey Birthday Chick and then Hey Chick stamp sets and dies. So cute. And then this is the one we're going to make today using the Springtime Joy. It's like an Easter stamp set. So cute. And I think we're pretty much using all the stamps in that stamp set. Okay, so we're going to be using a piece of basic white. This piece is cut at four and a quarter by nine and three fourths. We're going to score and cut that together. And then I'm going to bring in the Springtime Joy stamp set. I think we are using every stamp in this stamp set. Isn't it adorable? It's got a little lamb and then a cute little bunny and then a cute little chick. So yeah, we're going to use all these stamps in this stamp set. All right, so now let me give you all the layers for this card right here. Let me show you. So all these little pieces right here, I just got them all cut out and I'm going to stamp on them, but I got them marked out for the measurements. So to make it a little bit easier for you to see. So hopefully I can get these pieces laid out and you can see the measurements. Let me just go through them really quick. So the pool party, two and three fourths by four. The basic white is two and a half by three and three fourths. Then these two pieces go together, pool party two by four. This piece of basic white is one and three fourths by three and three fourths. Then you're gonna need two pieces of pool party cut at two by two and a half. And then these two pieces of basic white cut at one and three fourths by two and a fourth. And then two pieces of pool party cut at one and a fourth by two. And then the basic white is cut at one by one and three fourths. Okay, so hopefully you got all those measurements. And then I also cut out the layering oval dies. So this oval, the straight edge is about three and a fourth. And then the scallop is about three and a half. Okay, all right, so now that we got all those done, let me grab my trimmer. So on the four and a quarter inch side, we're gonna line this up at one and a half. On this side right here. And then my cutting blade, I'm gonna line this up at three inches along my cutting arm. There's a ruler there. So I'm gonna line that up at three inches and then I'm gonna cut down to seven and a half. Okay, then we're gonna turn it on the nine and three fourths side and we're going to score. Okay, so we're gonna score at the top down to that cut line. So line it up at three, score it down to that cut line. Then we're gonna slide it down to five and a quarter. We're gonna score this in half, or the whole piece. Then we're gonna slide it down to seven and a half, and we're only gonna score up to that cut line this time, okay? So now it should look like this. Hopefully those score lines are showing up. And then you have your cut line right here, right? Okay, let me move the trimmer. Okay, so you're going to fold the five and a quarter inch score line. And this piece is gonna come forward. This piece is gonna go back. And then you're going to fold this over. And then this piece is gonna fold over. So it's gonna go like that. Let me burnish those edges really nice. Okay, so that's the card. Let me set it up so you can see from the top how it looks. Okay, so once again, you're gonna fold it first at the five and a quarter inch score line. And then you're gonna pop this piece forward and then this piece is gonna go to the back. Then you're gonna fold on that score line, which is the seven and a half. And then this one was the three inch. Okay, that's it. Isn't that easy? All right, now let's go ahead and grab our pieces. We're gonna do some stamping. I'm gonna grab my Memento ink. I'm going to stamp, but I've already colored all the pieces, but I wanna show you where I stamped them all at, all right? So first I'm gonna go ahead and stamp our greeting on this one. This says, may the new life of spring bring you joy. I'm gonna stamp that right at the top. Then we're gonna grab our cute little Easter basket. I'm gonna stamp this right down here at the bottom. 
the cute little chick. It's going to go right here. Okay, so that's the outside edge of our card. So then these two little pieces of the basic white, we're going to stamp a row of flowers. So let me go ahead and do that. Okay, this piece with the oval, we're going to stamp the large little lamb. Okay, and then these two pieces of basic white, we're going to stamp one of them with the little bunny. Right in the center. And then this one, the other one, we're going to stamp the little butterfly at the top. And then we're going to stamp two more of the flowers. Okay, then I'm going to grab a scrap piece of basic white and we're going to stamp the greetings, which this one says, Welcome Spring. And then this one. We're going to actually cut these to fit them onto the little sections. This one says, Easter is a lovely reminder of new beginnings. Okay. All right, so that's all our stamping that we did. So let me go ahead and close up our ink pad. Now let me go ahead and put these pieces together. All the pieces, when they're cut out individually, they look like a lot. But when you actually put them together, there's not that many. See? All right. Now, let me show you the ones that I've already colored. And I went ahead and already cut out the greetings here. And, oh, we got two more pieces. Let me put these together. Okay. Okay. So now all our pieces are together. All right, and then so I mentioned that I already stamped and cut out the greeting. So this is what those look like. So here's one that says, Welcome Spring. And then this one I took, Easter is a, and then I cut that off. And then I cut the other section off of the greeting. So it made into two separate greetings. So it's one greeting, but they're cut into two. Okay, so it's going to be on the front of my little lamb here. All right, so now let me give you a little tip here on this one that I colored. I got one that's already colored with the little headdress on there. So I'm going to color the little lamb. And what I did is I'm going to take these colors. I'm going to take my Smoky Slate Light. And I'm just going to outline her body. With all the lines where they've drawn her skin and her hair. Just going to highlight that area. With her being a white lamb and then a white little bunny rabbit, I did them both the exact same way, by the way. So instead of coloring, you can't color a white lamb white. So you can either add like a light blue or I'm adding a little bit of a gray. And then I'm going to take my color lifter and I'm just going to blend that smoky slate out and it will add a little bit of color around her, but yet not color her all in. Okay, and then I also did the same thing with her cheeks. So I took the flirty flamingo light and I just added a little scribble for her cheeks. And I did this to the bunny too, and took the color lifter, and I just colored over that to lighten it up and then spread that around a little bit more on her cheeks. Just like that. Isn't it cute? And then I took the crumb cake, the crumb cake light, and I'm just going to take the brush tip and I'm going to scribble the bottom or the ground part for her. And then I also did the same thing for the bunny. And then this also over here for the, the Easter basket and the cute little chick. 
just to ground that, just like that, okay? So those were some tips that I wanted to share with you when coloring. So let me grab all the finished pieces. Okay, so let's go ahead and put this together now that we've got it colored. Okay, then we're just gonna go ahead and build all our layers. So I'm gonna put adhesive on all the pieces first. Makes it go a little bit quicker. So we're gonna put this piece here. What? My finger is sticky in my finger. This piece is gonna go right here onto the left side. And then the bunny is gonna go on the top. And this is with the flowers and the little butterfly. And the cute little Easter basket with the little chick. She's got like a little attitude there. She's so cute. And then our little flowers at the bottom edge. Then we're gonna pop this one up on dimensionals. Put her right on the front. And then when you close this card, it will close and fit into a regular size, well, A2 envelope. Isn't that awesome? And then our greetings, I already popped these up on the little mini dimensionals. We're just gonna pop these up in a couple places. This one's gonna go on the front with this greeting. It's gonna go at the bottom. And then the welcome spring is gonna go right between the flowers and the butterfly. Fits really nicely in there. So cute. Then one more thing I did do is I added some rhinestones to the flowers. Let me grab those. Gotta add some bling. So cute. Don't you love it? It sits up. This one's already white, so you just have to sign the back if you want. You don't have to add another piece. Let me show you the other ones really quick. Okay, so here's the other Easter one using the Springtime Joy. Then here's the one using the Darling Donkeys. And then this is the one we made in the Glitter Pit yesterday. So if you want to catch out that replay, the link is down below in the description box. Okay? All right, so if you have any questions, please let me know. And then also I'll have all the items listed down below. Then don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss any future videos. Okay, thanks for stopping by. We'll see you later. Bye.